The king has an important announcement to make. King Logan will address his subjects shortly. Well, hello there. I have a gem in my pocket. Yes, traitors walk amongst us. Traitors plot to end us. Traitors would have you believe their cause is noble. They wear many masks. They may look like your friends. They may even look like your most loyal servants. This, this is the face of a traitor. Swift. Major Swift, a respected member of the army and sworn servant of the kingdom has plotted against us all. He was apprehended attempting to turn loyal soldiers against us and is thus charged with espionage, treason, and conspiracy. Yet there are still others darkening our land with their betrayal. We shall hunt these traitors down, wherever they may be. And they shall suffer the same fate as Major Swift, the fate of all enemies of the crown. He has to be stopped, no matter what it takes. He has to be... Come on, we need to tell the others. Welcome to my shop. Right, thanks. Pleasure to serve. Ben told us what happened. Swift was a good friend. He died like a true soldier. <laughs> a true soldier? Let's not pretend there was anything noble about the way he died. He was tortured, humiliated, and murdered. And he didn't give Logan anything, or we'd be dead now. I call that noble. It was just a matter of time before Logan did this. Before he decided to hunt us down. 
We have to fight back. We're still not ready, though. We need more allies, and thanks to Swift's efforts, we know exactly where to look. Before he was executed, the Major managed to send us a message. A soldier still loyal to the old guard brought it to me. A great risk to his life. What does it say? Well, this is Swiftly we're talking about, so it's rather straightforward. You will find allies in Aurora. I still don't understand how anyone there could help us. Aurora is a dead land. There's nothing there. Or at least, that's what we've been told. It's still the only lead we have, anyway. Can we get on with the plan? I have an overwhelming urge to shoot someone. First thing, we'll need a ship. You and Ben will get hold of one, while Paige and I make sure the rest of the fleet doesn't follow. You'll need to go via the back alleys, and they'll be crawling with soldiers. Not a problem. I know my way around the place. I'll meet you at the back of the sewers. We're gonna show Logan just what traitors can do. Go on. My men are putting together the materials we'll need. It should be quite a display. Aurora is a distant place. It could be a while before we return. If there's things you need to do, now's the time. You know, Swift taught me almost everything I know about being a soldier. Let's show these bastards how it's done. We need to get to the far end of the dock, so probably best not to shoot until we have to. Come on. Uh, leave the talking to me. I have an idea. Stop. Only Royal Guard allowed. Oh, I know, but can I just say, wow, <laughs> you look so stylish, you know, with the, the helmets and everything, and me and my friend were wondering if we could join you, because, I mean, you just make us ordinary soldiers feel so inadequate. Leave. Oh, come on. Don't you have any leaflets or application forms we could take with us? If we could just get inside and get your autographs, we are huge fans. Leave, or we will be forced to terminate you. Mm. See? Even their vocabulary is stylish. Okay, I admit it. Just around the corner.
Come on. The way to the ship should be clear. Oh, mate. following us after all. Well, what about Paige? She's staying behind. Someone needs to organize things here. Now, come on! I've got a good feeling about this voyage. Are you all right? Yes. Ben's not here? No. Looks like we didn't all make it. I only hope... Well, maybe he washed up somewhere else. I'm sure that's it. Anyway, the only way forward seems to be through a rather ominous cave. Before we go any further, I'd just like to say one thing. So this is what Aurora looks like then. I was hoping it'd be a little less... cavey. Hello? Sounds like the dogs found something. Well, you never know, it might be a luxury inn. Bats. He found... bats. Good work, boy. Bats are exactly what we needed right now. What do you think happened to Ben? He's a strong swimmer. Probably reached a sandy beach somewhere. Palm trees. Beautiful women. Coconut cocktails. Jammy bastard. What the hopping hobs is that? It must be protecting something. Like the way out, most likely. Tell you one thing, we haven't got this far, haven't got this many people behind us to end up dying in some forsaken far off hole.
And wherever we are, we're not the only ones who got stuck in this damn place. Not the most encouraging side in the world, is it? Still, they might have something useful on them. Why don't you check the second lot over there? I found something. A note. It speaks to us still. Darkness incarnate. We know now we can never escape it. Well, that doesn't sound good. Hey, I've got something too. One of these poor sods left a journal. Most of the pages have disintegrated, but well, you can still see plenty of weird symbols. It's mostly gobbledygook anyway. I mean, listen to this nonsense. Luminous spirits of the sands impart daybreak and gleam under a quiet moon. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Can you believe I did that? <laughs> Ooh. Does look somewhat dark. Oh, maybe going down isn't such a good idea. Oh yeah? Well, why don't you lead the way to some time? You know how I said it looked somewhat dark? Well, I'd like to amend that statement. We're looking into utter, total, complete darkness. Oh, what have you got there, boy? Ha! Ah, you little genius. Good boy. Better. So what do you think this place is? I have no idea. A temple of some sort? What could anyone possibly worship in here? going any further this way. Looks like a bridge. Is that the mechanism to raise it on the other side? Isn't that handy? One of us will have to get across to use it. There must be some other way to get there. Aside from here. Okay, be careful now. That thing's probably pretty stiff, and we don't want to make any more noise than we have to. seen that before. Stand back. Walter the Scholar will deal with this. 
Mm, with an increasing sense of trepidation, admittedly. Luminous spirits of the sands, inhale the restless gloaming. I have a knack for gibberish. Um, do you ever get the feeling somebody's playing games with us? All the time. Let's just be thankful and get through this place as quickly as we can. The light you bring will die. The light inside you will die. Show All yourself. that you are will die. Well, this isn't good. <laughs> the children are here to play. Wait, I think we must be close to an exit. There's a cold breeze. Can you feel it? There's that sound again. It's almost like... No! Not the light, not the bloody light! Be 
only darkness that demanded. dark caves, but this, it's as if someone took my worst nightmare and made it real. But it's gone now. It's gone! And we're going to be fine. Looks like the only way is down. Good evening. Here I come then. Three, two, one. You let him die. You let us take him. But you're glad, are you not? You wished him there. You wished him. Now the future that awaits you. 
are those people you want to save. The people you want to control. They will shrivel as your friend. They will be cruel to the children. They will steal so is ours! Darkness shall spread across the world! That thing... It blinded me! I can't see! It's okay, Walter. I'm here. We have to get out. Quickly! It's still out there! We need to leave! You can hear it too, can't you? It is there. I'm not mad.
I can't see anything. Take me to the light, please. Are we out? Did we get away? Yes. We're safe now. What can you see? A desert. I can feel the heat of the sand. But whatever that thing did to me, it's like it, it sucked all the light from inside me. I still can't see anything. Just don't let go. Careful. There's steps up ahead. All right. Okay. I'm not sure. I don't know how far I can go. Are there no signs of civilization? There's something in the distance. It looks like an enormous statue. <laughs> how far? It's going to take us a few hours. No, stop, stop, stop. I can't do this. Of course you can. Come on. I'm... I'm too weak. You have to leave me. Listen to me. I can't see. I can barely stand. I, I, I won't just slow you down. I'll get you killed. You have to go on without me. Save me, I'm dead weight now. Stop talking like that. We're going to make it through this. <laughs> Will you listen to me? You have to leave me behind. That thing left you weak too. Don't you think I can tell? What you have to do is too important to risk for an old wreck like me. Listen, you have to go on without me. I won't leave you here. You have to. I can't. I, I can't. Walter. It's all right. It's all going to be all right. I'll come back for you. I promise. I'll get help. You'll do me proud. I know you'll do me proud. Walter. Children spread out his heart to the sky. Is that, is that you? What's happening? This world is ours. We will smother every light, every last breath from every last mouth. Please, no, stop! Don't leave us. 
Don't leave us here forever and ever! You try to run away, but you are made of sand. The people of Albion. You are falling apart between us. I have fears. to find out just how ready you are. He would have done anything for you. Now he screams alone. He curses you. Not even in your death strength for is giving. ebbing. We can feel it. My brigade had been pinned down by the enemy until there was just me and two other men left. We retreated into a cave, but they never came after us. They just blew the entrance, sealed us in. We spent three days in that cave. No light, no food. Just three men waiting to die in the dark. The light in your eyes offends us! Let it go out! Are you blind? Are you blind yet? <laughs> There's nothing left! You're gone! All gone!